Hello Capricorn, Sandra from For Your Chi, here today to do your September Tarot and Oracle card reading for 2023. Thanks for being here with me and welcome to your September. Okay, so first things first, seven planets retrograde, some say six, some say six and a half, some say seven. So it's one more planet retrograde than last year at this time. Not really a great time to be looking for a job right now. You probably already have one solid, good for you. If you're looking, it may take more time than what you were planning on. Um, not, a, not a great time to change jobs or careers right now. Hang on to what you got if you have it. Second thing is we are, um, your reading is highlighting children relationships children family relationships big time um, for those of you who may be confused about that i have a booking link if you want to book a private session with me it's going to be below you can view my schedule and book at the same time but let's get right into your reading movements choices and decisions right off the bat in the cu first couple of days of september you are trying to figure out what's coming up, what do you want to do next in your life. Um, however, it's time to do the research first. Sagittarius also pulled this message, so if you have Sag uh, rising or if you are watching for your rising, Sag anywhere prominent in your chart, you may want to go check that reading out. You do have children here, so you know, you could be making a decision for your child, for your child's future, or you could be helping them make that big decision. Um, but someone hasn't done the homework yet, or both of you have not done the homework yet. So make sure you're doing your due diligent research, which I know you will. If anyone's going to do the research first, it's going to be the Capricorn, right? Your 12th house, stay in your ground. Well, there's nothing new here. Someone's got their money grabber handout and you're not having it now you pulled soulmate here so this could have to do with as soon as i pulled this i was getting transactions transactions for those of you who have shared money with a partner or someone else um may, now this appears to be someone who you have a karmic contract with such as a soulmate such as a significant other but it could also be a child or a family member too, right? Regardless of who it is. Uh, make sure you are double, triple checking the bank account um, line items, you know, the debit card statement. Check them every couple of days if you can. The credit card statement. Make sure the amounts that are coming out are accurate. Um, because I saw a Capricorn who was overcharged for something. And you could be on the phone either with your bank or with your credit card company disputing the charge or with whatever company the money was spent at or with um, trying to rectify it. Now... You might actually be telling this person, whether this is your partner or whoever you have this karmic contract with, um, they, they might want to spend on XYZ and you're just like, no, we can't do that because we have these other three bills that you don't even know about that have to come out this month. Okay? So uh, be very mindful of that. Also... Because I was getting the transaction statements, you want to be careful of, and I know this doesn't, this is kind of a rare thing and weird. Make sure you're looking very carefully at your deposits um, because there could be a missing deposit or there could be some sort of error in the amount of the deposit. Which now, since we have uh, automatic drafting or automatic deposits, like, what do they call that? 
electronic checks um, where someone is going in there and key, whether it's the payroll person or the bank, whoever is doing it now. I don't even, I don't know the that end of it. Um, there could be a key entry error. Someone missed a key somewhere. Someone missed a button. Someone missed a decimal point. All right. Watch. I think you get the point. Watch out for that. Your third house, your house of your brother or sister, anyone you would consider a sibling. Well, it seems to them that the rug is being ripped up from underneath them. However, it needs to be because it wasn't built on a solid foundation to begin with. This could be a relationship that they're in, a job, a situationship that um, seems to be crumbling. What is the advice card? They need to really listen to their gut feelings here and do not dismiss the information that they're getting regarding the situation. Perhaps you can talk to this person about the subject matter and perhaps that you can't. And if you can't, just know that this is a little tidbit to file away into your brain for another day. Your fourth house, your house of home where you currently live, choose wisely. All right, so this is making, uh, you feel like you're backed into a corner here and that you need to make a decision. Hopefully it's not a major one like moving. Um, it's a bad time to move with s almost seven planets in retrograde in September. Um, if you can put the decision off, great. If you can't, I totally understand, but it's going to be important to have someone help you make this decision. I am available this month if you want a private session. Look at my booking link below. You are receiving divine guidance, though. But that does not mean make any harsh or rash decisions right now. A harsh or rash decision can cost you. You have to wait until this divine guidance comes in. Double check it with someone that you trust. Okay? And then make sure you're in a good mental and emotional feeling space when you make this decision with regard to your home. This could be, and I think I said this last month, didn't I? Moving someone in, moving someone out, getting a roommate, uh, getting another roommate, making a home renovation, refinancing, although it's a bad time for that, sometimes people have to do that. Making a home repair. You may have multiple decisions of which contractor, which handyman to hire, and you really want to make sure you're vetting them appropriately and properly. Okay? Pay attention to the information that comes to you from the higher power there. Your fifth house, your house of social life, fun, friends, dating life for those of you who are single, Capricorns. Suffering in silence, you're doing all the hard work by yourself. Some of you may have friends who are not putting in their share of the friendship, perhaps. You know, you're the one that always calls them, or you're the one that's always making arrangements, or you're the one that's always footing the bill when you go out, although I kind of doubt that with the Capricorn. What is the advice card? Trust. Trust that. Now, a lot of times this could be that everyone looks at you, Capricorn, and they're like, wow, how do they do all that? How are they so capable? You know, they just always seem to work, 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 and they always have their shit together, which is true. And they're kind of intimidated by that, and they just automatically assume that they don't have to put in their share, or they don't have to ask you if you need anything. You clearly need something here if you're the one doing all the work. So there is help available to you, is my point. You need to trust, but the first thing to do is ask. Ask and trust that ye shall receive. Okay, Capricorn? Your sixth house, work and health. You already know what to do next, but you haven't done it yet. It's important that you pull this trigger as far as what you know you need to do with work. This could be asking for a raise. This could be asking for more help at work. Um, this could be seeing a certain specialist doctor, getting on a diet, getting on a some sort of regimen. This could be, you know, you know you need a certain medication or you need to change your medication, something like that. But I feel like for the majority of you, this has to do with your job. 
Um, because look, he pulled abundance here. Okay, if you if you know that you need to ask for a raise or more money or your bonus or your hours or what overtime, I don't know what. Um, there's more money coming to you because the way that I'm looking at this and the way that I see this as a reader, it's like, well, what choice do they have? You are the hardest person working at this in, in this day and age when these people or kids or what everyone else has an excuse or they can't do it or they don't want to do it or they don't show up for work or they're always late and the Capricorn is like this steadfast pillar mountain you get the picture right they're going to give you more money or they're going to give you the overtime or whatever the case may be because it's just like here take my money Capricorn you're the only one working I might as well give it to you Okay, where are we? Oh yeah, we have to look at your who's what zodiac signs are showing up in your seventh house of relationships. Now let me just say this. You know, houses seven through twelve are in the extended, which will be in the link below. It is on Patreon. Tier two is what you want to get all of those readings. Um, but for those of you single Capricorns, I would not expect that you will be single for much longer. There's someone here. There is at least one person here, Capricorn. I would expect that you would be in a relationship very soon based on what I'm seeing here. Well, we have the two sword cards here. So there's your uh, recent, I'm calling it the Aquarius stalker because the Aquarius comes out in every reading, although it could be a Gemini or a Libra. You have the King of Cups here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So we have double air and with a side of water. Very good. It is what it is. All right, so if you want to join me in the extended reading, we're going to be going over your houses 7 through 12, relationships, primary partnerships, and business partnerships, for those of you that that applies to. Your eighth house, taxes, legal matters, contracts, the source of your significant other's income. We're going to be going over your ninth house of school and travel, your tenth house of career and your mother, your eleventh house of your child or your best friend, for those of you that don't have children, and the twelfth house, which is what's about to happen three months from now in December already. December. When the sun hits Capricorn. Many blessings, Capricorn. Thanks for